Welcome to Let's Play Shadow Complex. Uh, this game I first found many years ago. Uh, it is it has a long history that I just discovered more of uh, a few seconds ago as I was looking up the ESRB rating for the game, which, by the way, is T for Teen due to mild language and violence, which means this video... Uh, as a gameplay video is not appropriate to children under the age of 13. So this whole series of videos is not appropriate. <sighs> ah, there's my disclaimer for the game. Alright, so Shadow Complex takes place in the universe of a series of books by Orson Scott Card called uh, Empire and Hidden Empire. It actually takes place in between those two books. Uh, but what I just discovered is that Rather than the game being built on his universe, he actually wrote books based on this game. Uh, which I find uh, mind-blowing. Uh, I didn't realize that that was the case. And uh, this game becomes even cooler because of it. Uh, <clears throat> this game was created to be a spiritual successor to the Metroid franchise. Uh, specifically Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion. Uh, one difference is that it is a 2.5D game, which means that, uh, well, Metroid is a platformer where you would go up and you'd be shooting back and forth and up and down. Uh, this game includes shooting back, forth, up, down, to the back of the room and to the front of the room. So it has... It has the Z-axis that way. But you can't walk the Z-axis, but you can shoot across the Z-axis. It actually makes the game more interesting, if you ask me. Um, I have beaten this game 100%. It is one of the rare games I've done that. And I did it in 7 hours. Uh, if my gameplay uh, time on my save is any indication. Um... <clears throat> I will most likely not be getting 100% of all the items, but I will try to get all of them that I can. Uh, I do know that having all the items at the end of the game is rather useful. And there's one specific thing that I need to collect all of because it opens a secret arsenal that gives you ungodly uh, weapons and uh, ability armor that just makes the game so much more fun and then makes the game super boring because nothing can beat you uh, you become invincible when standing still like that's one of the abilities of this armor it's it's an easter egg of sorts for people who have 100%ed uh, finding all of the data caches Hmm. All right, well, this video is about three minutes long. Uh, as per usual, this is simply an intro video, and the first video of the series will be the beginning of the game. Uh, but, contrary to how that usually works, I am actually going to play the intro to the game now. it on casual. The benefit of this is that I can actually just remove the back end of this game if I mess up and just have the, uh, this, the voiceover intro if something goes horribly wrong. Oh, look, there's an enter button to continue. Stand down! Ah, what the? I'm under fire! This is Colonel Sam Dallas of the Pentagon. Come in. We have 
have you, Colonel Dallas. Going secure now. Level 2 blindside in progress. Forces converging on 17th Street and Constitution Avenue Northwest. I'm en route. Locking on your location now. Do not engage hostiles. Backup is on the way. I've stolen one of their weapons. A battle suit. I'm gonna cram it down their throats. Secret service is already on site. I repeat, do not engage. Don't worry. I'll know who to shoot. That's what I mean, you can shoot down. Pentagon, this is Dallas. Right here, Colonel. Corridor. Target's neutralized. The Vice President is safe. Think so? Wait, what? Does that help this mess you're feeling? A special override device we installed in your armor. Lucius! Do you think we didn't see this coming? At least, at least the Vice President is safe. You mean that, Vice President, of the United States? Not real. Damn it! If it's any comfort, you're not the only pawn who's in play today. There's a very large chessboard out there. Farewell, Colonel. As I said, there were two books based on this game. Uh, to be honest, you only have to read Empire, the first one. The second one, well, great. Um... I don't recall having much to do with this game. Come on, Jason, keep up. So we're actually going to stop this video here because that was the intro. Uh, I will see you on the next one.